Welcome to the Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave and all things straight razor related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's shave, I am using my Wayne Butcher Sheffield. Excellent razor. It is a wedge, horn scales. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful shaver out of the 1800s. Very nice. And for our soap tonight, we are using the Art of Shaving Sandalwood. And this is new old stock, so this is the tallow sandalwood. Excellent, excellent. Now, I've had a little bit of that in this bowl blooming, so we're gonna pour off that bloom water and put that on as a pre-shave. All right, let's do this. There we go. Now, <coughs> for my brush tonight, using the Omega 10,098. Nice. So let's get that brush loaded up. All right. So how you doing? Hopefully you're having a good weekend. Yep. And, uh, you know, have a little downtime, right? That's always good. Oh yeah. Yep. Some time with family and friends, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. I really enjoy sharing my Sunday with you. I do. Yep. It is always good. Always. And this is another Sandalwood Sunday Shave of the Day. Oh yeah. Yep. It is good. Yeah, what a great idea. It really is. All right. And how are you doing? Are you well? I hope so. Yeah. Is the world treating you good? Hopefully. All right. And most important of all, how are your shaves? Yeah. Hopefully you're having good shaves. Yep. I really enjoy the comments and... Uh, uh, you, you know, tell me what's going on in your life and your shaves and, you know, that kind of thing. It, it's just really cool, I think. Building up a community like this is so nice. All right, and I think we're there. I do. Let me just put a little more water in there. I just want to make sure, yeah. yeah. And I think we are there, yeah. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to just clean up this bowl, which is good. Oh, yeah. All manner of goodness right here. Okay. Yeah. And, of course, we'll put some of that on the face as well. There we go. Nice. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Good stuff. Good stuff. It is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. And coming up. We got another Friday special next week. Yep, so Straight Razor Head Friday specials come out on the first and third Friday of every month. So tune in for that. And they are generally speaking shave related videos, sometimes fun videos, sometimes both, right? 
Uh, in general, for the most part, I actually don't necessarily shave in most of them. I will from time to time though. And uh, I answer your questions and comments that you put in the comments. So my question for you is, do you have a question, comment, or suggestion for a Straight Razor Edge Friday special? Put it in the comments for me and we'll get to it. Yeah, we will. Yeah, I will make sure and do something with that and get a video made for you. There we go. Nice. Wonderful. And this has a really good scent. Uh, this particular sandalwood is more earthy, but I like it. I, I do. It's, uh, it's, again, unique. Every one of my sandalwoods is unique. So, this is pass one, and that means it's primarily with the grain. So, let's get going. Gotta make sure to find those speed bumps. And when you're uh, shaving with a straight razor, that 30 degree angle or less is the best way to do it. So what you can do is take the spine and put it flat on your face. Tilt it up until you got a spine width off your face, and that's approximately where you need to be. There you go, nice. Really good stuff. This is new old stock. So this is one of those uh, tallow base soaps that you may be able to find on eBay or someplace like that. That's where I found mine. And I really like it. There we go. And let's switch hands. We're going to get this other side. There you go. Just like that.
There we go, nice. Fantastic. So, very, like I say, earthy scent. This one, uh, it really, I think, almost has more of a clay scent than uh, some of the other ones. complete very nice yep quite good now let's get that uh, washed off see how we did yep yeah with straight razors and uh, even DEs for that matter um, it's all about beard reduction that's why we do a two Two and a half, three pass shave, that kind of thing. Every every time you shave, you're going at it at a little different angle, and you're going to get a little bit closer. Yeah. And even if you go at the same angle, if you repeat it uh, a couple of times or so, you'll still get a closer shave. Yeah. You really will. So um, if you find that uh, across the grain or against the grain is actually giving you a fit, just go with the grain twice and see if that doesn't help because I think it will. All right, so this is pass two. And I do these shave of the day videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So stop in. Stop in and check it out. Yep. I am here for you. And I, I always enjoy it when you stop by as well. So that means I'm going to go across the grain on my neck here, against the grain here, and against the grain here, and on my chin. Let's do this. And I, I stretch down here, I'm lifting my head and tilting it, which is making that neck all nice and taut and gives me a good shave. against the grain in this area or that's maybe across the grain I will have the spine even 
really on my neck as well because I got a good enough angle. You don't want more of an angle than that because it'll just be irritating. You'll just be scraping skin. So it'll be much more comfortable for you, you know, with uh, with that blade flatter than you're actually cutting hair. Switching up that handle. Very nice. Find those speed bumps. Yeah, and there, you know, it's just how I'm holding my uh, my face. That's how I stretch. 
for the most part, that's all you can do right in that area. At least for me. Your mileage may vary. Everybody's face is different. Isn't that cool? <laughs> when you think about it, it is cool. All right, pass two complete. Oh, nice. Yeah. Those cheeks, right where we need them. Very good. Okay. So now this is the half pass. Yeah, what we're gonna do is just my jawline and my neck. That's all we need to do. Okay. Yeah, the soap that keeps giving. Very nice. Very nice. This is so good. that. Dry those hands off. And this is going to be primarily against the grain. Okay. Nice. That's good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, when you get a good shave, it makes all the difference in the world. There we go. Almost. There you go. Another shave in the books. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. Yep. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice, really nice. Oh, that's a good one. 
And we're going to finish this off with Thayer's Lavender Witch Hazel for our aftershave. Yep. Excellent. Mmm. And a good scent. And so good for the skin. I just put that everywhere. I think it's good for everything, right? And for our cologne thing, okay, Parasso Red. So this is the Sunday Sandalwood Shave of the Day. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yep. That is good stuff. So I'm going to get a bit of that. Put that on. Mm hmm Oh, that's good. Wow. And what a fantastic scent. What a fantastic scent that is. And we're going to top this off with Nivea Poche Balm. Gotta have it. Good stuff. Yeah, there we go. And again, I put this everywhere as well. Alright, there you go. I really appreciate you guys. You can click right up here to see the best beginner shave, one pass, that you've ever seen. Click over here to see my latest video. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.